last week I was checking out that Bloom Daddy's album with Chris Cheek and Seamus Blake, and it reminded me of this Paul Motion Electric Bebop Band record that Chris Cheek is on with Chris Potter um, and two electric guitars, Kurt Rosenwinkel and Wolfgang Mutzspiel. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. And obviously Paul Motion and then Don Elias on percussion and Steve Swallow on bass. It's a really interesting record. And I've always dug it. A couple of things that are awesome about it, because of all the the, the four soloists, the everybody's solos are shorter. Things are shorter in general. So like you've got Chris Potter and Chris Cheek taking taking great solos on like Half Nelson and Ornithology. One of these solos in particular, this Chris Cheek solo on this first song, which is called uh, I can't I can't read it right now because I gotta make sure I stay on the road. Is this the right way? This first solo of Chris Cheeks is just stunning. Check it out. I, I love how like the guitar solo ends with this descending da 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 and Chris Cheeks starts his solo with da 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 Velvety. I'm gonna skip ahead. Check out this solo, his Potter solo on Ornithology. One chorus, killing, of course. This is 1994, by the way, 1994. So I don't know. Potter was early 20s. <laughs> Reincarnation of a Lovebird, Paul Motion, Electric Bebop Band. Till next time, enjoy.